wonderful today. I want to encourage you in the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 through 7, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And I say it again, rejoice. Let gentleness be evident. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything with prayer and sub supplication. Another translation said petition. Make your request known to God. And the peace of God that transcends all understanding We guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. The word, the key word that I want to bring to you today is rejoicing in the Lord. You are rejoicing. You are being thankful in every situation. Paul is telling the Philippians, he said, rejoice. Let your petition be made unto God with thanksgiving in your heart. Do not be anxious. Don't be anxious about anything. Don't allow the situation around you, what is going on in your life to make you anxious and panicking to where you cannot even get a prayer through. Be thankful for where you are right now. Because if you're not thankful for where you are right now, you can't see where God is taking you to. So you have to be thankful. Lord, I thank you for where I am right now. It could have been worse than what it is right now. My, a lot of people are going through worse situations that I am in right now. But God, I will decide to rejoice in you because I know you. The difference between me and people in the world is my relationship with you. Because I know as long as I have breath, as long as I am in you and you are in me, all things are possible with you, oh God. I know that you will never leave me stranded. I know that you are my God and you know what is best for me. So God, I am, in re I am rejoicing even in my pain. I am rejoicing even in my affliction. I am rejoicing even in my distress, oh God. I am making my request known to you with thanksgiving. I am placing everything in your heart, in your hands on today. Father, Lord God, I know that you are in control. So I'm not going to allow the enemy to bring anxiety. I'm not allowed the, I'm not going to allow the enemy to bring doubt and fear into my heart. I know that my Redeemer liveth. You've not brought me this far to leave me. You've not brought me this far to turn your back against me. You're not a man that will lie. You're not a son of man that will change your mind. So I have decided today to rejoice, to be thankful. I'm thankful, God, for my health, Lord, I thank you. For my children, Lord, I thank you. For my job, just to be able to have a job. If things are not the way I want it to be, but God, I am grateful. I thank you, oh God. I'm rejoicing today. I choose to rejoice today. I choose to be thankful today. I choose to look around me, even I'm not seeing light. But God, I know that you are in the midst of it. And I thank you. Let that be your testimony today. Let that be what you decide to do today. To rejoice in the Lord. Let that, let that be, let that gentleness, that Paul says, let your gentleness be evident to all. I'm rejoicing and being humbled in what God is doing. Because I know that God is working it out for me and is working out working it out for my good. So I pray for you today as you go today that you will learn how to rejoice in the Lord. That the Holy Spirit will teach each and every one of us today to rejoice in God and what God is doing. To put our total trust in the Lord today. To be thankful for where God has us right now. For where He is taking us to. To know how to, to, to understand how to present our petition to God with thanksgiving and not to be hanged of anything that is going on around us. Lord, we thank you for you are in control on today and we rest in you in your sovereignty But because you are God that knows everything, oh God, about us even before it happens. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for you are in control of today. We thank you, oh God, for you are our God and we rejoice in you and we are so thankful for where you brought us from, for where we are, oh God, and for where you are taking us to. We thank you in advance for our healing. We thank you in advance for our deliverance deliver us. We thank you in advance for our breakthrough. We thank you, oh God, in advance for the miraculous works that you would do in our lives. And we give you the glory, oh God. We thank you for today is the day that you have made. We shall be glad and rejoice in it. Lord, we thank you and we give you the glory for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Have a wonderful and God-filled day on today. Amen.